Hey there guys. Okay, so you know I just got through telling you that I was going to be done with Lush for now and um, not actually do this frozen bath bomb um, that I was going to add on to my Christmas in July just because I thought it had a nice wintery thing and get back to my indie companies, but then I got on Instagram this morning and I saw that everybody was freaking out because evidently this is going to be retired now. So I thought, okay, well let me go ahead and do this demo and um, let's just see what all the fuss is about. I know that a lot of people are upset because this is supposed to be a really pretty show and um, they don't want to see Frozen gone, but I think they're just making room for a lot of new things right now, so um, they're discontinuing a lot of old bombs and bubble bars. But anyway, this scent is, um, it's got grapefruit and rose oil and neroli in it. So um, let's go ahead and put it in and see how pretty it is. love those colors. Ah, oh, those are my colors. So, so pretty. Now, I honestly didn't know that it had the rose oil when I got it. <laughs> I might have skipped it. No, I don't know that I would have because just the colors are so, so pretty. And the silver luster, I think, is going to be awesome. But I do smell the rose oil. But it's not, maybe with the grapefruit, it's citrusy enough that um, it's not overpowering. Because um, I can't do a lot of really strong florals. I will get a headache. Wow, that's really pretty. This watercolor is turning a real icy blue. already see some of that shimmer in the water just from here. how it separated. I didn't even see that. Oh well, I just have to go look, look back on the video. So I'm noticing a theme here in my last few videos of these Lush Bombs. They've had blue water and a lot of luster in them. <laughs> so I guess that's kind of what I go for at Lush. Get a big little foamy pile of luster over there. This does, it's a perfect name. It's, it's, it looks very, very wintry. I'm really glad that I grabbed this then because I don't know that if I hadn't grabbed it last month on vacation that I would have ended up being able to get one. So, that was fortunate. Very, 
very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this little guy and crush it because, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, I'm already getting a headache. I really am. Um, this scent is, it's a pretty scent. Um, if you like this type of scent um, with the roses, with the rose oil or florally scents, I'm sure that it's just a beautiful scent and that you would enjoy it, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the bubbles on for you guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this bath, um, but this was, when I crushed that, it was really pretty soft. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the water, too. Um, it's really, it's very shimmery. You can see it against my hand. I think you can see it. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I don't think I can take it. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and see what the bubbles look like. And um, I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. Just give me a second. demo if I realized how strong this rose scent would be and that it would actually bother me. Um, that I really can't, I can't give my full review, but I hope, <laughs> I hope that, um, that this was helpful and I hope that if you are a Frozen bath bomb fan from Lush that you won't be too sad that it's gone and I'm, hope, I'm hoping that they'll just, you know, they'll bring back a lot of cool new things and um, you, we won't miss them too bad ones that they are discontinuing. But let me go ahead and turn the bubbles off and maybe it'll give us a beautiful swirl pattern. Okay, so I didn't get a swirl pattern with this one when I turned off the jets. And you know, I think that maybe those happen with ones that don't give us bubbles. Um, thinking back now, um, so the bubbles did just die down a little bit. And I want you guys to know that this bath did not go to waste. I got another member of my family to take this bath for me. <laughs> so the only thing I really can't comment on is the moisture level. Um, and maybe, I don't know, if you learned anything from this demo and you were going to try and pick one of these bombs up before, um, they are all sold out because they are going to be discontinued. That if you don't like rose oil that maybe this is not the bomb for you <laughs> maybe um maybe that could be a takeaway but anyway um so there is some silver luster a little bit on the sides and a little bit in the bottom and i'm sure that that will rinse right down and you know another thing that i wanted to mention to you guys about my tub specifically um, that might make a little bit more mess than some others is when i do turn the jets on Definitely the shimmer, the luster, the glitter, and things like that. It will push out to the sides and probably stick to the tub more than conventional tubs without jets. And that probably goes for some of the pigment as well. So um, maybe my tub judges that a little too harshly as far as mess. Now that doesn't mean that it won't 
settle to the bottom of other tubs the same as it does my sides. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that to y'all. Sometimes when I have a ring around the top, maybe others won't have as much of a ring around the top. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. I'm really sorry, but I just, I had to leave the bathroom and my head is a little bit better. Um, my headache's almost gone, but if you're wondering maybe why I only choose certain scents and you don't see a wide variety of scents on my channel, that is why, because I am very headache sensitive to certain scents. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me and I will definitely get into Indie Bombs next. Um, I guess that's it for today. Thanks a lot, you guys. I appreciate you watching as always. See you next time. Bye-bye.